So it's hard to decide what is the best thing since sliced bread, but if you can nominate multiple things or create a list, I'm pretty sure that the bite man should be there because it's awesome and it can help a lot during the development and testing. So Biteman is a JBoss project under LGPL and it can modify the Java bytecode in memory. So without compiling Java, you can modify any of the lights, lines, you can inject more logic to, to any of the, the uh, services. And the new logic shouldn't be compiled or written in Java, but there is a very easy to use language which uh, can be used. So if, we need, if you would like to use Byteman, ingredients, you need two things actually. You need a Byteman project, which is a few jar files and a few executables. You need this script uh, to use which will be used to inject some more logic and you need a GVM up, but fortunately we have Ozone here, which can be used. So this is an example what kind of about the script. The script can be more complex, but this is a simple one. So you can see that the rule did just the name. The interface, this um, uh, first character means that any of the implementations of the blocking service can be should be instrumented. It can be fully qualified, but it uh, doesn't fit in my slide. So, and inside any of the implementations of this interface, inside a call blocking method, at entry, so when the, the thread starts in this method, if true, I have no additional conditions. For example, I can add the condition if the parameter is something, but no, always, do something. This is the most important line. The trace line is um, an internal byteman function, but you can use system out print line. You can call other Java classes from the class bus. You can do anything. And the rule is ended here. So that is the, the byteman. And let's try to use it in a, a real ozone cluster. So what we need is we need Byteman first of all, so it should be downloaded. And I'm just copying the link and go to the uh, Ozone cluster. So here I have a running Ozone cluster with, I started it with uh, Docker, so you can see that I have all of the containers. And the only thing what I did is just, I went to the SCM container with this exec scm bash command and I installed the unzip just to make it it's faster. So yes, it's sudo yum install unzip and after that I can just download Byteman. Okay, and I can unzip it and I can rename it to a more meaningful name, Byteman. So, I'm in the Ozone directory, but I have a Byteman subdirectory, which contains all of the jar files. Now I have two options. I can instrument a running GVM or I can add parameters to the GVM opts if I can start a new GVM. But let's say I have a running GVM. I have a, this one, this is an SCM and I would like to instrument it. So first of all, I need to set the Byteman home, which is home uh, opt hedu byteman, that's all. And from this directory, byteman, I have a vm, uh, bin vm uh, install script, and I need the pid of the Java process with the sheet 6. Okay, the byteman is started inside the gvm. So now I can install any of the scripts. And fortunately, in the Ozone distribution itself, we have Byteman ex examples. So in share Ozone Byteman, for example, we have this Hadoop RPC. You can see that the structure is the same. This is blocking service and I have some kind of trace. So the Hadoop RPC re requests will be traced with some magic. Let's try to do it, use it. 
So what I need is this path and instead of VM install, so the Byteman is installed, I can just submit my script. Oh, and this is installed. So let's do an ozone sh volume create slash wall one. But in the meantime, uh, let's check the logs of the SCM. So this is the current log and I'm just creating the wall one, which means that the SCM Oh, we have some. Oh, this is the heartbeat request. This is Hadoop RPCM, right? Because I created a volume which is supposed to create something only on the o Ozone Manager side. But fortunately, I can see the Hadoop RPC heartbeat from the data nodes. It's very nice. I don't need to create a volume actually to see all of this. So that's the first version BM install and, and BM submit. I can try to create a, a bucket create a bucket wall one bucket one what's bucket create this one and I can upload a key I need wall one bucket one file one and the readme will be uploaded oh, okay it's uploaded and in this case I should see some allocate yes get container with pipeline so here I can see the real messages so this is from the data node but this is from the from the ozone manager when I created the the key the ozone manager as SCM to to get some space for the new key Okay, what is the next option? The next option, if I wouldn't like to instrument it uh, a running GVM, but I have a new GVM. And in that case, I should modify the Java arguments. And in case of Ozone, it can be done with Hadoop Opt. So Java agent. And here I need the uh, Byteman jar file. Okay and I'm not sure about the syntax I think here I need this one script and here I have an other Byteman Byteman let's use the Hadoop compatible file system write so let's try this one hope I remember to the syntax well and let's try to do an goes on sh Mm, Ozon FS and let's put something to the OFS and it's in the OM and wall one bucket one and key two and let's upload the readme to there. Okay, so let's check what is the we need Java agent colon byteman jar equals script colon something do we have the same equals script colon something okay that's the good syntax and I'm just uploading it okay upload it and you can see that I have something on the standard output because this Byteman script this script is added when my GVM is started and what I can see is that there the 250 it's 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 just one output actually it just printed out multiple times but 185 millisecond spent in the or Hadoop file system write or the output stream dot write method we can check that what is this so this is the it's a more complex uh, Byteman script but the, the basic uh, basic uh, structure is that when we entry the write method of the FS data output stream, which is a, a Hadoop compatible file system, so I can compare HDFS and Ozone, for example. I reset the timer with the identifier of the current thread and I increment a counter. And when I exit from the method, I just check the time from the, from the entry point 
and this time it's added to an other counter. So I will have two counter. One is just the, the number of calls, and the the other one is the the summary of all of the time spent in this method. And with this approach, I can just check that okay, why is it slow? What happened under the hood? So this is what uh, we can do the, with the Byteman, and this, in this case, we use this Hadoop opts. Uh, so, uh, method. so it also can be used with the SCM, but in that case you should uh, configure it. Or you can do this BM install and the PID and PM submit, and here you can define any any script. In the Ozone distribution itself, there are example scripts, or or not just example, useful scripts, and hopefully we will have more and more which can be used to to debug. And there are a lot of use cases, counters, log metrics, as you have seen. One other, which uh, maybe it's good to mention, is that the real service. So we also have a, an example script uh, inside here, which can mock the SCM. So mock SCM, which means that I can start an also manager without any other component. When the OZO manager tries to call the SCM, my fake SCM block location protocol client will be called instead of the original one. And you see that in the action I have this return result, which means that at entry I immediately return with a mocked result. Which means that I can measure the OZO manager, and actually I can do the same with a data node leader, you can see that I can mock the followers. So I can measure just one service with a real service running on a real hardware where all of the other services are easily mocked without modifying any of the code. I just created a code which is committed and part of the project and can be used at any time. So hopefully you are convinced that the Byteman is a very useful tool. And in the next video, we can check how is it uh, used, for example, to test an isolated Redis leader or an isolated Ozo manager.